Welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to share a method that I use to separate bacteria from mushroom mycelium on an agar plate. Bacteria seems to be one of the most prevalent forms of contamination that you can experience in mushroom cultivation. The bacteria can even embed itself in the mushroom mycelium so if you just try to transfer away from the bacteria to a new agar plate, the bacteria can still emerge. So that's where the agar sandwich method comes in to separate that mycelium from the bacteria. And all you have to do is pour in some warm agar on top of that contaminated agar culture and then allow that to cool down. After a couple hours in front of the flow hood, it has solidified, so I wrap it in parafilm and incubate it at 75 degrees Fahrenheit for a few days. After about four to seven days, you should see the mycelium growing upward through that layer of agar, and the bacteria will stay on that middle layer, and it will not follow the mycelium to the surface. This will give us the opportunity to scrape that aerial mycelium off of the surface and transfer it to a new agar plate. Sometimes the mycelium will stick to the tool when you're trying to transfer and that can turn into a big problem if you're trying to scrape it on the agar to remove it you could damage the agar so I like to use two stainless steel flame sterilized tools that way I can kind of manipulate the tissue to fall onto the agar if you're flame sterilizing the tool make sure you wait long enough for the tool to cool down before scraping the mycelium I usually wait around 5 minutes in front of the laminar flow hood for it to cool down before I start the transfer. Now that it's been 5 minutes and the tool should be cooled down enough, I wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol and remove the parafilm from both of the agar plates. Now I just use one of the tools to scrape the mycelium and transfer it to the new agar plate. After the transfer is complete, I wrap the plate in parafilm and allow it to grow at around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. After about two days, you can already see the mycelium growing bacteria free on the new agar plate. And after another couple days, the mycelium is still growing healthy and without any contamination. So the agar sandwich method worked perfectly in this situation. If you've been having problems with bacterial contamination, I hope this agar sandwich method helps you 
And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. If you have more urgent questions that you need quick responses to, you can join the new Discord community, which I'll leave a link for in the description.